all right i just wanted to make this video just because it's a few because i'm going to be swapping coolers i just wanted to know that i just want everybody to know what i'm using now so this was the cooler that i've been using for almost a year actually thinking about it it's almost been a year since this cooler has been running so this is the Thermotech Contact Silent 12, if I remember correctly. It's a simple, basic cooler, and it's kept this thing very cool, and I've loved it. It's been a fun ride with this thing, but this thing, unfortunately, needs to go. So, I have bought just today... Give me a second. Oh, fat hands. This thing. The Master Core ML240L V2 RGB. And I'm going to be putting it onto my Ryzen Vlad 2600. How this is all going to work? Because I don't have. Actually, because it's too fan. Oh, I got to move my optical drive. Darn. Actually, let me unbox the thing real quickly just to see what it looks. What, what I'm going to be dealing with. Let's just move this back here. Yes, it's clean, by the way. And I'm sorry for that cable mess down there. Give me a second. See if I can't make it. <laughs> Perfect. Let's figure out where I'm unboxing this from. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Normally. Okay, here we go. See the glory -ness. My camera's freaking out. Okay, here we go. Alright. And here we go. Okay. Put the AI in there. Two fans. The two Core Master Sickle Flow 120 RGB fans. Set those right there. Cables and bracket mounts. Stuff. I'll figure that out. And then the AIO itself. Oh. Come on. Come on out. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is beefy. This looks good. So I'm also making this video just because I've never done this before. I've only installed that one cooler and I just want to show you what my thought process is between this and stuff. Just how I think. Because I'm a logical thinker apparently. But I mean that's true. Uh, okay it comes with thermal paste. In the box. Okay let's just yeet this stuff somewhere. Yeet this under my desk. Yeah. These. This looks like RGB. This looks like actual pump. I won't take that off. Okay, now let's look at this mess over here. Can we focus? Is this the RGB controller? I think so. I think this is the thread rubber bracket. Actually, this might be just the normal. That might be, I don't know. Standoff, I think. 
and then Molex cables. Ah, what the? Okay, yep, Molex. And then fan connector splitter, fan splitter. Actually, for actually, this might be pump and pump and fan, fan, fan. Ah. I don't know what I mean. This is a means to be honest. Thermal paste in screws. Another one of these cool master plastic things. This plastic cool master things. I think this is it. I think this is Intel brackets. And and Intel bracket. I don't know. Another one of those. Bracket mount. And more screws. Alright, uh, definitely reading stuff. What's that box at? I know you could probably can't see any of this, so let me try to get this better. Okay, I think you can see that a little better here. Under these fans. Warranty information. Now you have a warranty on that. So let me see how you're supposed to install this. Warning. Remove label before install. That. Thank you. That missed again, but. If I am correct, this is the AMD bracket. Let me just check. I'm sorry, I'm being a noob here, but I haven't installed a AIO before in my life. And for yet, that is AM4 bracket. So it needs. This is AM4? Confirm. I key your directions, gotta love it. Okay, so this is AMD. Screw that right next to that petrified wood. Move these screws out of my way. Okay, so I went ahead. I apparently that's actually Intel mountain mounting stuff. This is the AMD. So if you're wondering what you're supposed to be doing with this core and you don't know how to install this core, this is what it should look like. The two pieces I saw here with the thumb screws go on the two sides here. So that makes a lot more sense. So now I'm gonna go finish that video up and figure out what I'm gonna do with everything else here. Just figure everything out. So I shall return again. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and install the radiator. Actually, that's all I have to do is install the radiator. I did remove the optical drive, which is right there. I want to try to use it, but if I can't, then so be it. Because I can just slap it in if I need to whenever. I got these cables. So I'm going to try to figure out how to put it in. And I'm going to set my phone up. Give me a second. I might have to do this one handed. So I'm thinking maybe you put setting the pump up like this and this way. It'll mount like this with the CPU like this and the bracket like this onto the core. I think that'll help a little better with the airflow for this little fan this fan back here. This core master one twenty millimeter millimeter fan. I think it's also a sickle, non-RGB. So, I think that's what's going to be best, in my opinion. You could, you could, any PC users that use, that are doing AIO cooling, then you can tell me otherwise, then I can change it if needed. I thought about putting it back here, moving those two fans that came with the case up here, but I was like, I don't know. So let me get a chance to set my phone up somewhere and then I'll get to it.
So what I'm going to do is actually install the radiator first. Because I feel like one that's just going to be easy. I'll mess with the pump in a minute. I just don't want to break anything. So. Ah. Uh, Optical drive not going back in. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Actually, I might be able to. I could just sneak wires past. Maybe, maybe not. Let me just put the pump right here, right next to the hard drive. Perfect. I just hit the back plate. That's okay. Let's just get one of the fans right ready. Just sit it like this. I'm figuring out how I want to route the fans. I pass them back there, and I can pass the plugs behind the case. I think that'll be good as I set the cable, make sure the fans like this, mount like this, and then pass through underneath here where the 8-pin power connector is at. So I'm just going to get one screw to start with so I don't complicate things, because I complicate things so easily. Move my pack and instrument, and soon to be sleeper PC. That will be coming up sooner or later. I'll be making a... When I get the money, I'll be making a sleeper PC. Sorry, that was not focused at all. But the sleeper PC is going to be with a Dell and Spyron. Haha, <laughs> that's going to be fun. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Hold in. Ah, uh, great. This is this might not work with the optical drive case at all. Alright, so the optical drive cage might have to come out. Poop, I don't think it can. I don't think actually you can't remove the optical drive case. It's tacked in. Oh, that poses a new challenge. So we're not doing it the way I wanted to. Because this optical drive, you can't take it out or anything. We're just going to do it the other way. I mean, what can we do? Should I buy a 120mm radiator? But, it is what it is. And honestly, it's not that big of a problem. Take this off. Hold on. Hold on one second, I need to look at the YouTube video again before I do this again. Okay, so now I'm realizing something. The video that I'm watching is doing a push configuration. I'm doing a, I'm in a pull configuration, which is to pull fresh air in from, from, the, in, from the intake fans. I'm doing a push. So what I'm going to have to do is mount the fans before I do anything with mounting the radiator because the radiator is gonna have to mount up here, and I gotta use two separate. I gotta use eight separate screws to do that. So I'm actually gonna mount the. <sighs> Never mind. I'm gonna mount the fans first. Give me a second. Okay, so the fans are mounted. Time to mount the radiator. I'm probably gonna do a quick time lapse of this. I don't know. Where's the screwdriver? Um. Oh. Using it for my phone. I'll get a different screwdriver. Okay. 
straight. Alright, so I think I have a RAM clearance issue, so give me a, I gotta remove the RAM to do this. Ah, got a disassemble, disassembly PC sim simulator. This is what it feels like. Uh, I don't want to take these sticks out nor put them back in because these were a pain to deal with when I first installed these and put them in. Because one of the sticks never even read and caused my computer to go to a cycle boot. Go to a boot cycle. Cycle boot, oh my gosh. A psycho boot. Oh my. Where's my brain today? Where is it any day? This one. Mic is down there. School management. Okay. Help. You come here. You go here. Now, can we be all happy? Can everything be happy and work with me, please? Do I have to remove more things? You are in pain. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Is it token or not? It's the darn bracket here. There we go. Just has to be flush with it.
Alright, so this case is posing a challenge to me. The, the DVD drive is in the way completely. And it's really annoying me. So, I might have to do something here. Figure this out. So, give me a minute to figure that out. Okay, so I've come to a conclusion act that actually the factory design dust filters up here are causing is causing the problem not being able to at least get one of the screws in. That's another part of the problem, but this is also may, may be might be a problem as well. So I have actually went ahead and removed the filters just so I can install this, and it seems like that has fixed the problem. Let me see if I can't install this now without having any problems. Set the screwdriver up. Yep, it was definitely the filters that was causing the problem. Allow me to not be able to install the radiator. That is unfortunate. Yeah, at least I'm getting this thing installed finally. Like, gosh, that took me an hour to figure out what was causing the problem. At least I figured it out. Install it this side so I can at least have it being supported. No, it's just easy work from here. Okay, radiator is on. At this point, I don't really think I have time to do anything else. If I do, I'll do more recording later today. But I'm off to do homework, so I'll be back whenever.